I am extremely excited about the idea of creating some kind of journey through time. So a tunnel or a portal where people feel like they are being moved throughout time. So uh, what I would like it to involve is, um, it could be any shape, but I want people to feel like they're going through something. The uh, tunnel, for want of a better word, will be created of different types of materials so that as people pass through it, they experience changes in light, changes in sound. I want it to have soundscape so that people hear different sounds. I'd like there to be hanging things. So uh, maybe some of the postcards that we've been talking about, um, people's stories, maybe photographs that people have taken. So what I'd really like to see is the big Shire Hall clock on the front running backwards or going very, very, very fast. And what's really exciting about it is that whether you're outside in the woods or here in the Shire Hall, that everything, everything connects. So you go to one thing and you take that to the next thing and you go, oh yeah, that makes sense. Um, and you just keep being surprised really. So I hope that's what it gives. I want to be here when trees have fish in them and that people just say that's okay. And they choose their favourite fish and their favourite tree. A spooky, glow-in-the-dark style twiggy skeleton in King Arthur's cave at Simmons Yacht. Huge chunk of frozen river, maybe with pigment in it that's been come from one of the three mines, the ochre pigment, and it's kind of got chains or some way of hauling it around the town so it slowly kind of melts as it's dragged around and, and the water pulls down the lane that we're at into the um, drains or, or just finds its way around the town so it kind of gets redistributed. I have an idea to make a dandelion sculpture where all the spores are forced out with some kind of automata air mechanism that the communities help me make. For the Wye Valley River Festival 2020, we're looking to get across to the audiences um, what the impacts over time are, both looking back into um, the past in the landscape and looking forward into what climate change, biodiversity loss might mean for us um, and how with the arts we can, we can impress the audiences on what they need to do to make life different and better. I'm looking forward to seeing the small, tiny, individual moments of little installations versus huge spectaculars that go along the whole time. I'm looking for the festival to be really bold and exciting and use poetry and words in a really innovative way and for people to get excited about this place because the AOMB, the, the, the Wye Valley River is just such a fantastic location and I think people should be more proud of where they live and I'm hoping that words presented in a, a huge way can help enable that. Last year, <coughs> the actors came along, a couple of actors came along to our arts workshops, creative workshops, and um, they actually, the king came along last year, so he, he was in character, and it's so enjoyable to work, to see um, members of the public working on a project, making a poetry lantern with the king, and it was just so hilarious. The children, the king actually worked with my son and his friend, and it was just a very, very enjoyable moment that, that created really lovely memories that we'll probably talk about when my son's older. Uh, so I'd like to make a fantastic film where everyone says what they think would be brilliant at next year's festival. This obviously isn't it, uh, but I'm going to try again another time. I would like uh, the feeling, the collective feeling of coming to the festival to be like a great big intake of breath. <sighs> I can't wait to see the artistic, 
creations that we tap into through the rich seams of time. What that? Yeah. So do you know what you're going to say? Yeah. All right. So I don't know. When, when I switch it on, I'll yeah. do that and then you say whatever you want. Okay. okay. Just be very short. Send someone else up, yes, thank you.